Hey there, welcome to my channel. It's been a while since I've done my last video lesson uh, and today I have a very cool one for you. It's about the pentatonic scale and playing all the positions, all five positions, uh, changing in any string, any key, with any finger. Uh, it consists in playing two positions at a time and going back and forth between them so you can learn how to change in any string of each shape, okay? And then at the end of the lesson, we'll try to do the, the same exercise, but linking all five positions instead of just two at a time, okay? So I will play the exercise one time and then I'll start to break it down. So it sounds like this. What have I done here? I'm playing four notes in the first shape and then four notes on the next shape. So this was the first position of G minor and the second position. So first position here and second position. Okay. So I played four notes and then I go up to the next position and play it backwards. So the, the same string, I, I end it here. So I play one, two, three, four, four notes. And then on the same string, I go to the next shape. I play it backwards and then go, the, uh, go to the string below and play backwards again. So this block all together. And then I go back again to the first position and I play the same sequence. So the sequence is four notes ascending and then I change positions and I play four notes again, but backwards in each string. So instead of going up in each string, I go down. And be careful, try to play the right notes of each shape. Then I go, I end it here and the last block This one I go back because I don't have more strings below it. So the the ending part of the ascending sequence, it's the same uh, part for the beginning of the descending. So if I start here doing the descending part, now I go back to the first position and play it backwards. But now since we are descending, backwards means playing up. So like this. Together. Then I go to the second position again, play four notes in sequence, four notes descending, and then four notes backwards in the first. And then to this, and I'm back home. Okay, so I will play it together, but with pauses between each block. And then the next block. You see, it's not so hard. Let's try to do this with the second and third positions because they are a little bit weird. So for second position and third. Okay, so four notes, and now four notes descending. See, backwards, it's not descending, you, you are going up, but each string you play it backwards. Be careful with this part because you have this diagonal shape. And now here. And now go back. All together. Okay. 
So, a little bit faster. You see? So, when you are ascending, you are changing uh, the blocks, the positions in the strings 5 and then 3 and then 1. And when you go back, you, you change them in 2 and 4 and 6. So, you try all possibilities, okay? After you've done this, you will have much stronger knowledge of each shape and you, you'll be able to start improvising, like if you are playing just, let's say, a blues phrase like... You're playing here in the first position, let's say you want to go up. I now can easily see uh, each string, what note is above the, the note that I'm playing, so... So, it was not the best solo of all time, but you get the point. Um, so, now let's try to make this a little bit harder. Let's try to make the same exercise, but every time we do a block, so this is a block, okay? Instead of going back to the first position, I'm going up another position, and then after that block, another position. And let's see where this, this is going to take us. So let's start in the first position. One, two, three, four. Now backwards. Now instead of going down, I'm going up again to the third. And now four notes ascending and four notes backwards. Now I'm in the fourth position. I'll have um, images for each position um, somewhere <laughs> around me, okay? So you don't get lost. So, let's try again. Now I go to the fifth. You see, I reached the first position again. So I was here, and now I'm here. So first position, first position. You, you went across all the shapes with this exercise. And it's a lot harder because you have to visualize all shapes in random number of strings, okay? So, let's do it again, all together, but slow. So now I can start descending. I play four notes in sequence and then four notes backwards in the fifth position. Now I go to the fourth, four notes in sequence and then four notes backwards in the third position. And now four notes descending on the second. And I'm back in the one. So it's also a loop, this exercise. So let's try all together up and down. Very cool, right? <laughs> so now I have total freedom between every shape. I don't have to memorize like lots of diagonal patterns. Of course, they are good to play, okay? But now you can use uh, or make your own patterns, okay? So let's say I'm playing in the first shape. <laughs> So, I was able to change in a random number of strings. I was trying to be 
as free as possible. I was not trying to play like something I already knew, just trying to navigate and change the, the shape whenever I wanted. Okay. So that's the last part of the exercise. Just put this in practice, put maybe a backing track, play over blues, a rock backing track. It doesn't matter. And try to change the positions in places that you usually don't do. Okay. With this exercise, the bottom line is you'll have a better visualization. It's not that you are using this sequence to play a solo. You're not using like on a solo. Okay. Uh, it's not that interesting, but it's very powerful to memorize the, the shapes and start to sing the pentatonic all at once, instead of just seeing block by block and playing a lick here, and then you go and play a lick there. Okay. It's, it sounds disconnected in, in this way, we'll be able to craft, uh, much more interesting solos, uh, and use slides because sometimes people just don't use slides because they are afraid to hit the wrong notes. Like I'm playing. I know that this note is here because I know this is the first shape. Okay. And, and also I know I have a G chord here and this is the root note. Of course, this is a more advanced stuff, but I usually use all this knowledge to navigate, but if you start with this exercise, it's already good. Okay. Maybe I'll do a lesson about, uh, finding the, the, the chord tones in your solo, maybe, uh, an exercise to learn all the roots in one key. So you can jump in and out of, uh, of positions, but hitting the right notes and not go blindly. Uh, let me know if, if that would be interesting. And if you think I should make a video on that. Um, okay. I think that's it. I hope you like this lesson. Let me know in the comments if you think I should have explained something a little bit differently or better. I'm still fairly new at this, uh, YouTube thing, uh, doing lessons and stuff, but if you liked it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button also, and the bell icon, if you want to be notified of my last uh, video releases and keep playing. See you next time.